Hey, what's up guys? Synapse here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to keyframe in my recent animation for Team Crafted. Anything that moves from the camera to the character uses keyframing. So I'm going to give you some simple examples. So right now I'm in animation mode. If you see on the top right hand side of the screen, my layout is animation. When I'm in animation mode, I can see the timeline and that's where the keyframes are going to go. So let's go ahead and select the camera. When the camera is selected, I select the auto keyframe button. I can manually place a keyframe by clicking that keyframe button. Now on the timeline, first keyframe appears. All right, so basically that's the first keyframe right where the camera is. But I want to swing the camera around to the front of Jerome so we can see what he's doing. I'm going to drag the bar over to about 50 frames. Then I'm going to move the camera and a keyframe is automatically placed down because I'm in auto keyframe mode. The camera moves smoothly from point A to point B. It's not quite right, so let me pick a spot right in between those keyframes and adjust the camera. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Now you can see, as I drag it from zero to 50, I have a smooth camera motion. Now that's much better, because the camera comes out a little bit. I'll bring the time bar all the way to 120 and adjust the camera again and a keyframe is automatically placed down. One of the things to know about this is if you set your scene up just right and you have some really good camera angles, that will definitely enhance your animation. Personally, I like to focus a lot on the camera angles. That was an example of how to set some camera keyframes in an animation. But let's really get to the basics here, all right? And if this tutorial is way too simple for you, you want to see something more advanced, just let me know. I can do a part two and we can make it a little more in depth. Okay, so here I open up a new window. Oh dang, there's a creeper here. So I select the creeper and I click on the keyframe button. That puts down a keyframe at frame zero in the timeline. I brought the bar over to 60 and now I'm going to move the creeper forward and hit the keyframe button. And you can see that the creeper moves from point A to point B along the timeline. Now, alternatively, I can use the auto keyframe button, which I just showed you. And if I enable that, a keyframe will automatically be placed down when I move the creeper. So that's auto keyframe. Watch out with auto keyframe because it will place down a keyframe on any parameter that you change. So just keep that in mind. And the creeper moves from point A to point B as I scroll along the timeline. Now if I want to make him move a little slower, I can just drag the keyframes along the timeline from 60 to 90. So that means it's going to take longer for the creeper to get from point A to point B. And essentially the creeper will appear to be moving slower. So that is the most basic keyframing. Let's make it a little more complicated. Here I add a camera to the scene. And I select the camera and enable the camera. And I'm in auto keyframe mode still. So every movement I make to the camera, it's gonna place a keyframe down. And I place the time bar at frame zero. And I can set the camera there. And place the time bar at frame 90. And set the camera there. And I can scroll from point A to point B. And you can see that camera pans. As the creeper moves, the camera pans along with it. Just for giggles, let's put a pig in there. Why is that pig so big? I feel like the pig is way bigger than the creeper. Maybe it's a baby creeper. Yeah, or a giant pig. Hmm. The point is, I'm just trying to show how the camera moves. I'll move the camera behind the pig and the creeper. And you can see the camera goes from 0 to 30 to 90. I essentially made an animation using a creeper, a pig, and a camera. And some keyframes. So let's take a look at another real example where it gets a little more complicated. Here's Jerome again in the Team Crafted intro. And you can see every keyframe for his movements. And it might seem like a lot of keyframes, but I don't really think it is. I have to keyframe every movement from his hands to his legs, to his head, his eyes, and all of that. All right, let's take a look at Sky Does Minecraft as he's flying through the sky. This is also from the Team Crafted intro. And this is showing the keyframes for the camera. As Sky flies through the sky, yeah, the camera is following him along. 
So let's look at the position keyframes for Sky or Superman. Same thing. So he starts off there. If I wanted to change the starting frame, I could enable auto keyframe and now he's going to start right there. If I zoom out, you can see as I drag the time bar along the timeline, you can see Sky as he moves. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. This was really simple. I didn't address some of the other ways you can modify keyframes using splines. If you want to see more details on keyframing, then let me know and uh, maybe I'll make a part two to this tutorial. This should get you started and enable you to make some epic camera angles. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like these tutorials, make sure you hit me up with a subscribe because I'll be making a lot more of these. And if you have friends that are just getting started in Cinema 4D and YouTube, make sure you share this video so we can help them out as well. Alright, good luck and have fun.